Before we begin, remember to smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and share this with anyone who you think needs to hear this message. Also, if you want to support the channel, you can click the join button, become a member, and get access for free to the exercise performance course where I teach you to squat, bench, deadlift, shoulder press, do pull-ups, and dips. Not only that, but you will also get the audiobook of the book of Puck, narrated by me, and also the exclusive podcast for members, The Coffee Cast, where we do weekly Q&As. Now that we've had that out of the way, let's begin. I did it wrong. I did it right. Box. Giant box. Box. What is in it? You will never know. Hello, Godspeed, mate. Uh, mug. Forgetting my coffee. Because the coffee is good this afternoon. Welcome to the Friday afternoon chill stream, which I just initiated today. I mean, why did I initiate it today? I had some time left. I worked out this morning. I ate this morning, trained my client during lunch. And now I have time and a giant box. Remember the last time I got a giant box? Remember that when I ordered the Lion Knight's Castle? And I was so hyped. And it was a seven kilogram box of Lego. That's better. Seven kilograms. And the delivery guy goes, I can't find it, sir. It's like, come again? What do you mean? You can't find it. Seven kilograms of Lego in a... How large was that box? The box was pretty large. In a giant box. You mean to tell me that that thing that took up most of the space of the shelf in your van is impossible to be found by you? <sighs> Is it okay if I come back later? Is it okay if I come back later and bring it then? It's like, I don't know how you can't find it, but sure. And he drove off. And all of a sudden I get a text. This is your you weren't home text. We're going to put the parcel at a pickup shop. It's like, you mother... Called the post services. Well, I'm sorry, sir. We can't get connected to the driver. Because of course you can. Of course. Imagine that. If you would have had some sort of device that would make you able to communicate with your employers. If only we had the technology. 2023. And you can't think. Of one way to stay in touch with your employees. If only we had such a device. It's on the tip of my tongue. A drone. That's not it. A cone. No, that's not it either. Foam. No. Oh, wait. Not styrofoam. The other one. Phone. Oh, my God. We have those, don't we? If only you could use them to communicate with people from a distance. Oh, wait. Fortunately for me and the kid. Because the the driver was, I don't know, what was he, 17 or something? Well, no, 18 probably. You can drive at 18 in the Netherlands. 
he miraculously found a giant box of seven kilos worth of Lego. Fancy that, he found it. Oh my God, really? Now today, I should have filmed the other side. That did make it in one try. No shenanigans. No, oh, we can't find it, sir. Nope. Just on time. We have it. It is there. It is here. It is now in my possession. Hello, Alex. Good to see you. And it is safe where it belongs. With me. This is the second best thing that got delivered to me this year. And who the hell? You guys hear that? Who the hell is not watching his car? <sighs> Welcome to the Netherlands in 2023, people, where crime is on the rise and cars are no longer safe. Seven kilograms of Lego, yeah? It uh, was a giant box. Something like that. I remember the box being, like, freakishly heavy. It's pretty insane. Pretty insane. At least it was on the uh, information. It was pretty, pretty large. It was the Lion Knight's Castle, the one that got released last year. Like, I have been, I have been having the greatest years when it comes to Lego releases, in all honesty. Like, 30, Barracuda Bay. 31 was... Or it could have been uh, 31 was something. Maybe 31, I didn't get anything. I can't remember. 32 was the Lion Knight's Castle. And now at 33, I'm getting El Dorado Fortress, which is amazing. And I love it. What, what came out in 2021? Let me check this real quick. Lego releases 2021. Uh, did a set police station? No, Volkswagen bonsai? No, no, no. Ooh, this is all crud. Uh, Titanic 2021? No, Titanic was way earlier, right? Or later? We're in 2023, so that's correct. Mm. No. Uh, list. No, just, just show me all 200, man. Show me all 200. Uh, some Spider-Man toys. Nobody cared about those. Duplo. Nobody cared about Duplo. A skull. Really? A skull came out in 2021? An orangutan? A lion? <laughs> those are actually pretty neat sets. No, honesty. I never had those. I didn't know those existed. Minecraft. A lot of Minecraft. Oh, the typewriter, Seinfeld. Was 2021 the year where I was kind of like, eh? I was kind of, eh? Hey. <laughs> I was kind of boring. Maybe something cool released, but that... wait, no. Oh, but I didn't get it in 2021. The Medieval Castle released. The three-in-one Medieval Castle released in 2021, which, I mean, it's a nice set, especially when you have three of them, like I do. Like I do. But yeah, so far, the last couple of years have been great when it comes to releases. By God. Well, at least something's turning out nice. Something is turning out nice. It's always, always good to hear. But, uh, yeah, I have a new set. I don't know if we're going to build it on stream. Should we? I kind of want to build it with my dad. And somebody else. Which would be funny. I would laugh. I swear to God, you guys really can't hear that car alarm in the back? Let me know. Just let me know. What the hell was Oh, for God's sake. Oh, well. Uh, whatever, whatever. 
we do what we want. So the chill stream is about absolutely god awfully nothing, just a little bit of ranting and raving, just the truth cast to get people out there, people get people to know my channel, get people to know me. Right before Digital Ryan, and I don't know if Ryan is broadcasting Manosphere Morning right now. I hope not. Because then we are dual streaming, and I don't want that. Let me check real quick. Are we dual streaming? I hope not. Uh, uh, no, no, no. Looks good. Looks good. Looks actually pretty good. We We are on schedule, which is nice. So what else? Can we talk about? Well, Red Evening is tonight for you guys. Red Evening is tonight. And we're having a Ronan on. Roman. Roman. And if you don't know who Roman is, I will show you who Roman is. Roman. Sir, why can't I ever find you? On the Twitter. Oh, that's right. Opium Tales. Oh. Be, um, my god, that man is shadow banned. Go to Opium Tales 2. Here you go. The man is an artist, a painter, a writer, and he will be on Red Evening tonight. So look forward to that. And for some odd reason, my links are popping in twice. I don't know why. But he's going to be on Red Evening. I've seen him around on Twitter a lot. He's talked to uh, Rob and Vince and all kinds. And I'm like, hey, I never had him on. Let's have him on. Let's have him at the open bar and let's see what happens. Drink my morning coffee. Rob's probably going to have his beer and I don't know what opium drinks. Hmm. Maybe he will drink opium. Wouldn't that be ironic? That would be pretty nice for him. Um, we don't have a topic for Red Evening. The topic is probably going to be what it always has been. How have you been? Which is going to be nice. <sighs> is there any specific question you have? Just let me know in the chat. And we can discuss that. But uh, let me see. Who's Rob? Nestor, haven't you been around? Rob is my co-host for Red Evening. But, Billy, you know that. You know that. In Knight's Castle. Let's see if that box was. Uh, bum, bum, bum. 6,000, really? Build time of this set is 12 to 13 hours? No, 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 no. Uh, let me see. Yeah. 6,000 grams. Jesus Christ on a horse. Oh, wow. They raised the price. <gasps> they raised the price on it. Oh, my. Oh, dear. Oh, my. Oh, oh, oh. Damn. 10% more expensive. Well, a little less than 10%. 10 is fourth. Seven and a half. Seven and a half percent more. Damn, son. Everything is getting more expensive. Hmm. How did you and Rob meet? That is a very interesting question, Alex. That is a very interesting question. How did we meet? I saw Rob pass by on Twitter every now and then. And he kept popping up and he followed me. And back then I was kind of like connecting with people. I remember uh, Red Pill Dad, uh, Tim, Tim something. Very nice guy, but really very nice bloke. And Rob kept popping up and things like that. And uh, I tweeted something about the manipulated man, I think. He responded to him, hit him up in the DMs, and we had a talk about the manipulated man for three hours, and I was like, hey, man, I do a show on 
Saturday morning my time, which is Friday night your time. You want to be on? I call it red evening. And he's like, yeah. Yeah, I'll do it. <laughs> that is my Rob. <laughs> it's horrible. <laughs> and he never left. I never let him go kind of thing. It's like, yeah, I, I like this. We can keep doing this. But yeah. Let's let's make it a thing. And we're almost at episode 200 of that of that whole thing. Uh, next week is going to be episode 200. And I don't know what we're going to do with it yet. Ask about fire breathing and getting insurance. Oh, dear. Oh, uh, getting insurance for fire breathing? That will be interesting. Like, yeah, how do you explain that? Like, sir, my house burned down. Well, sir, how did that happen? Well, it kind of happened. And, you know, I was practicing my profession. And your profession is, sir, fire breathing. Is it? What? What? I'm trying to explain that. Awesome. I've been listening to you guys since 2020. God damn. That's a long time, Alex. Well, I'm glad we have been able to stay entertaining for so long. I remember we had uh, we had uh, John MLD pop up in the chat and have him on like sporadically. Uh, Cappy every now and then. Cappy didn't come on often, but when he did, it was fun. We had uh, Red Introvert on. We had Vince, Masculine Geek, of course. Sloth, good to see you, sir. Who else did we have on? We had Rolo on a couple of times. Talk about the Roosh article. Uh, Ryan we had on once, but it's like 12 p 12 a.m. for him to have Ryan on, so that's not easy. Um, Paul from Come On Man Podcast we had a couple of times, with it, which is fun, which is fun. In all honesty, it is fun. Phil, Phil Henry, of course, the great collector's episode. Which was nice. Um, Jay. And I'm so sorry if you're listening and I don't get your name right. But I met this guy on Twitter and he told me about his motorcycle accident. And he went through hell. He went through hell. And we had him on. And it was a very interesting chat. Very good and interesting chat. Guy loved to do martial arts, but he couldn't do it anymore because of his accident. Um, we had Watson on a couple of times. That was fun. Did we ever have a woman on? Almost. I invited Mac. I invited Mac on because Mac is like based. Mac is based as hell. Other than Mac, I can't remember inviting any woman on. Who knows? Maybe it'll happen. Maybe it'll happen one day. Because like Red Evening kind of turned into the guys bar. Where they, this is where guys hang out, you know. Male topics with men talking about them. Ordinary guys and ordinary lives. With your average day, shh, like same shit, different day. And we vent about it. And it's absolutely lovely. But episode 200. Damn. I mean, we... Uh, people, if people would ever ask me, if people would ever ask me where it's like, how did you do it? We just never stopped. That is literally it. We just never stopped. Oh, yeah. We had Nuke on, of course. We had Red Hawk on. We had Red Hawk on while he was sitting next to me. That was funny. Uh, What else? We had. Who else did we have on? can't remember lots of guys bring in tori <sighs> maybe who knows when she's here she can sit here that will be funny that is the only that is the only time i will do it when she's actually here she can like sit here with a morning face it's like at 6 a.m Billy, 
Look, Billy, I know you're having some issues, and that's okay. We've all gone through them. I've gone through them. We all have. But to purposefully rile up people just to get banned and then your victory lap, it's getting kind of old, man. I mean, you're welcome here. Please. Please stay. If you have any questions, let me know, and I'm happy to help. Just saying, kind of getting old. <laughs> Please don't. IRL is cool, but I know, but it's kind of... Uh, like I said, Red Evening is the guy's bar. You know, Red Evening is the guy's bar, locker room, unfiltered, don't have to pay attention to anything. Guys club. And that's kind of where I have to draw a line a bit where it's like, look, I care about you. We need to have our own things as well. Red Evening is my thing with Rob. Nothing personal, just that's the locker room. By like being in the chat, I don't care. If she's actually here, that will be funny. That is the only exception I will make. Other than that, guys, guys only kind of thing. Guys only kind of thing. Uh, what else? Who knows? Maybe, just maybe... Oh, what a strange dynamic that would be. That would be a strange dynamic. Did somebody, did someone tell you I'm having issues or were you making a joke? No, Billy, it's kind of obvious you have issues. And that's okay. Most of us have. I'm just saying it's kind of obvious. I mean, don't be ashamed about it. I get why you do it. It's the attention. It's nice. I get it. But there's better ways to get attention, my friend. There's way better ways. Mm -hmm. What else? Um, oh, uh, yeah, the, the suggestion I wanted to make. What if we have Destiny on and we just sit there? It's like, hey, man, how have you been? And just don't talk politics. Don't argue with each other. It's like, ah, have a drink. Oh, but my studies. No, 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 no. We don't do that here. You're in the... You uh, you are in the safe space, man. You're in the safe space. You don't need to bring up studies. You're in the cool place of the manosphere. Uh, honestly, I don't get... No, Billy, the joke doesn't bother me. I mean, suit yourself. Like, you can have your opinions, things like that. But it's kind of like we know what you're doing. It's like, oh, he's trying to get us riled up and then... Well, uh, you know the meme of this guy playing an idiot and then the group goes, go away, Artard. And then the Artard goes like, oh, I was just pretending to be Artarded. That's you. The guy who's like, I'm just pretending to be Artarded. Like, <laughs> you're just making yourself look stupid. And I'm telling you this because I genuinely hope you can learn from it. That's why I'm telling you. So, yeah. Is Jack Napier your real name, Gold Digger? Well, could be. Who's asking? Do you work for the Gotham uh, PD? Gotham PD? You work for them? Uh, plainly, Billy, contribute to the conversation. Troll the troll gets old. Yeah, sloth is kind of right. <laughs> Moi. Moi. Ah, that's the thing you see with a lot of trolls. And this is an interesting thing I saw about, from what I saw of the Sneeko Destiny Rolo debate, where Rolo wasn't in the studio, but he was in his own, you know, they were live streaming. You could see Sneaker and Destiny having their fun with poking fun at Rolo. And I was kind of like, look, they're doing it on purpose. They are so doing it on purpose. It's like, oh, God. Oh, God. 
And he kind of fell for it at that moment. What was it? Douche nozzles was the word he used. It's kind of like, oh, God. Oh, dear. Oh, my. The one who lives under a bridge. Yes, that would be me. Do you not like my humble abode under this bridge? It's like cars go over here every second. It makes the peace and quiet more peace and quieter, if you know what I'm saying. Speaking of shows, I did a show last night, this morning for me. Last night or, or uh, this morning for me with Tori. It's on our channel. It's a, pre a pretty interesting show. We went over two hours. Like normally, I can I can hold it for an hour. The uh, the attention span for live streaming, but uh, this was a very interesting one. Rule zero usually takes two hours as well. Two hours, one and a half. Usually I go down after about an hour. It's like, Ugh. and this went well. I have to wonder if Rolo truly gets annoyed or if he's just playing along. Either way, it gets attention. Yeah, that's the thing. But that that's the thing these days, right? Like, how do I get attention? How do I get attention? It's like, yeah, but what, is the attention worth it? We live in an attention economy. I mean, some people find it necessary to be arrested for human trafficking just to get attention and to get on Pierce Morgan. It's like Pierce Morgan is the new Dr. Phil or whatever. It's like, I'm on Pierce Morgan. I've made it. Well, congratulations, Clout King and Queen. You are the now crowned the king and queen of cloud chasers. It's like, ah, oh God. And what have you contributed? Clickbait. Oh, oh, très bien. Très bien. Bravo. Bravo. Très bien. C'est magnifique. C'est magnifique. Is that really what we want to do? Now, in all honesty, this was a bit of a chill stream. I didn't add much either than like Legos and things like that. And a little bit of ranting and raving here and there. But I mean, it's Friday morning. It's Friday afternoon for me. We're off. Friday night for you guys is going to be a red evening. We're going to have a lot of fun. It's going to be playful. It's going to be banter. And Roman is going to be on and he's going to talk about paintings, probably in good scotch. While Rob drinks his watery beer. Uh -huh. mm. Hello, good morning, Governor. Hello. Hello. One more thing before we wrap this up. I have almost finished Tears of the Kingdom. Did I tell you guys this? Oh my God. Spoiler alert for Tears of the Kingdom. Spoiler alert. You have been warned. Going now. So to get the Master Sword in Tears of the Kingdom, yeah, you have to unlock all the memories. You have to go through the map. You have to get the star, the the tears, and you get the memories. Okay. Turns out the light dragon. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna spoil that. But the light dragon holds the master sword. That <sighs> sloth is right. Make a channel. Show the world your passions. Find like-minded folk. I like getting laid, building Lego sets, and collecting Pokemon. Here we are. Here we are. By God, there are people like me in the world. And every now and then, I occasionally watch anime. We are not alone. We are not alone. But okay. As you remember from Breath of the Wild, maybe, those dragons hold items, and with those items, you can upgrade your armor. Yeah? The champion's tunic in Tears of the Kingdom can be upgraded also by dragon material. But guess which dragon that is. Exactly. The light dragon. Now, my dumbass raced through to get the memories and get the goddamn Master Sword because the Master Sword is awesome. Jump off the dragon, 
see the dragon fly into the sunset, never to be seen again. Never to be seen again. And it's like, okay, whatever. I get the champion's tunic. I'm like, hey, I want to upgrade this by the great fairies, do a nice quest that involves a musician group. Then I find out you need the items of the goddamn light dragon. Where's the light dragon? Where is it? I don't know. So I search far and wide on the internet how to get back on the light dragon after you get the master sword. Oh, you just stand in this space for two hours and it'll have to fly by. It's like, so when I was able to work from home, I had my switch in front of me. It was on. And I was like, I'm going to stand in this spot. I'm going to wait till that goddamn dragon flies by. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. I'm like, I give up. Never mind. I'm not upgrading the armor. Whatever. So I finished the main quest. Finish some side quests. And I go to the final boss. I'm like, this isn't working. I'm not getting throw to him. It's like, I can't even beat the pre-boss like this. I can't even beat the pre-boss. Damn it. What now? I need more items. I need better health material. Fine. We'll do it. So I teleport to a random place on the map. It's completely random. Just, I'm like, ah, never mind. I'll, I'll go there. That's a nice spot. I turn the camera so I can view up and guess what the ever-loving hell is flying right there in the distance. The goddamn light dragon. Searched for it for hours. Went through every tower. Went through every corner of the map. Looked through every kinds of walkthroughs. And I couldn't find it. I teleport once randomly on a random spot. Just turn the camera for a better angle and there she is. It's like, what the hell? Really? Really? Never mind. Get on the tower, fly to that thing, and do not go off of it until you have all of its items. Item farm that dragon until it's dry. That's what we did. We upgraded the armor to its fullest. I beat the pre-boss. I'm at the final boss. I can get through the first two stages hitless. And then phase three comes, bends me over and doesn't even use lube and thrusts it right in there. It's like, no, no. You get an ass whooping. You get an ass whooping like no other. But I will guarantee you, I will defeat him. I will save Hyrule from this evil. The kingdom shall be restored. <laughs> it's a miracle Cappy finished the first one. Yes, Cappy finished the first. Legend of Zelda, Breath of the Wild. Almost finished the second one. It's a great game. But I have questions about Ganondorf. Where it's like, really? Like, in the introduction, Zelda and Link walk up to the corpse. Corpse. Mummified. Version of Ganondorf. And out of nowhere, his bonds just break. Like, no cataclyst. 
no reason, no domino effect. They walk in and it's like imprisonment gone. It's like, yeah, but what caused this? What caused this? Because they could have said, now that Calamity Ganon is beaten in the first game, Ganondorf himself has saved up all his strength to break free from it. Something. And then, spoiler alert, one more time. If you don't want spoilers, turn off now. You get at the final part and you confront the mummification. No matter is a call for adventure, Pulp 101. <laughs> Nombre nom bre generico one nombre generico nombre generico nombre nombre generico nombre generico nombre nombre generico nombre nombre generico there we got it nombre generico one no matter it's a call for adventure pulp 101 you're not wrong it's just a call for adventure where it's like hey evil arises yeah but how does it matter it, it arose it's all you need to know it arose. It's like, uh, yeah, yeah. It's uh, it's pretty much. But like at the end, you walk in to like where he's hiding under the castle and in the in the depths, his cocoon, and on this, like fleshy throne this mummification of Ganondorf sits and he restores his body it's like okay how did he do that why didn't he do that from the start why did I have to face the mummified version first only for him to then restore his body it's like if I was an evil lord set out to destroy the world, the first thing I would have done is restore my body. But no, I guess not. He's been chilling underneath Hyrule Castle for all this time in his mummified form, and then he's like, oh shit, you know what? Let me restore my body. I completely forgot about that. I was kind of getting used to all this falling off limbs. What? What? Like mental point of origin, man. Take care of yourself first. <laughs> Dude. Throw the rational meal at him. Dude, Ganondorf, come on, man. This is not how you rule the world, you know? This is not how you take it over. It's like, no. It's not how you do it. Not how you do it. But that's kind of me. <coughs> the Lichtem pill. I don't know what that is. I do not even know what that is, sir. But speaking of call for adventure, here's a call to action. Smash the like button. Smash the like button. Subscribe if you haven't. Comment down below your thoughts of this show. And if you want to support the channel, you can become a member by clicking the join button and you will get access to my version of the Book of Book audiobook for free. You can get Gendernomics, the audiobook bundle, here. And if you really want Book of Book audiobook uh, products, without becoming a member, without becoming a member, you can get that. There it is. Here? No. If you want to get the Book of Poke audiobook without becoming a member, you can get that here if you want. But I'd say support the channel. It's way easier. It's way cheaper. It's way cheaper. Other than that, I have a spot open for personal training. If you are a novice in lifting and you don't know where to start because there's so much information out there, let me help you get the proper information you need to get started to get your health in order. I will help you with a personalized training program, diet plan, weekly form checks, private Discord, and a monthly consultation. Please go check that out. Let me help you. And with that, we're going to wrap it up 
and cue the music. Thanks for tuning in, and I will see you tonight on Red Evening. It's better than work.